In this video, you're gonna learn how to reduce sibilance in your audio recordings. Sibilance is the harsh, high frequency sound you get when you're recording s or sh sounds. Whichever DAW you're using, you should be able to reduce these and get your mixes sounding great. I'm gonna show you how to do it with your stock plugins that just come with any DAW. Then I'm gonna show you how to use Isotope RX to DS your audio. And then we're gonna look at using a free tool Audacity in case you don't have access to any, any paid tools. So firstly, let's have a look at this piece of vocal recording. So I'm on the path to derailment. So you can hear on the S sounds. So I it's really quite harsh. Um, typically we'll be mixing this with the rest of the instrumentation, but we we'll just want to make it really clear what we're doing. And even on the T, on the, at the Moment. end. On T sounds, S sounds. And I can wait to yeah, so we really want to reduce some of that. Now, ideally, your DAW will have a dedicated DS plugin included. So have a look. We can use the Dynamic 3 that comes with Pro Tools. And what this is, is basically a compressor um, just for a certain frequency frequency band so in this instance it's going to be the high frequencies which is where the the s's lie so if we set it to around six and we only want to be affecting the high frequencies only want to be reducing the level of the high frequencies otherwise we'd be reducing the level of the whole thing and it basically be working like a compressor so i'm on the path to bring that range down so it's actually a catching and I can wait to and you can see on the T's and the S's it's dropping it by a good 5 dB or so so I'm on the path to derailment let's bring it down to 8 dB and I can wait to unfeel it let's find a nice S so we can really hear the difference I can't just prop me. Here we go, the just. Just prop, just prop, just prop, just prop, just prop, just prop, just prop. And on this one, you can even listen to just the S, just the high frequencies and hear what you're reducing. Just prop, just prop. So you can hear that it makes quite a big difference. It's a really nice plugin that comes included with Pro Tools. Um, if you don't have access to that, you can use just an EQ, just cut off some of the, the high frequencies above around five, six, six kilohertz. Or if you have access to a multiband compressor in your DAW, that's effectively what a DSer is doing anyway, the same kind of job. So it's, it's finding uh, just the high frequencies and reducing those when they get over a, a certain threshold. So... If we just focus on this high frequency band here above 4K. I can't just prop. Bring the threshold down so we're catching those S's. I can't just prop me up. You get about 8 dB of game reduction there. I can't just prop me. Let's have a listen for and after. Just prop, just prop, just prop, just prop. Yeah, so you don't want to completely remove the S sound. It should sound a little bit sizzly um, because that's, you know, how people speak or sing. Uh, and it will start sounding a bit muffled if you go overboard, but you just want to reduce that harshness and and get it working in your mixes. Now let's have a look in Isotope RX and see what we can do with the DSer that's included in, in there. So I've got some more vocals here. Don't you think that it's time to make a change? So if you click on the output S only, you can hear exactly what it's going to be affecting. Don't you think that it's time to... If we click preview. Don't you think it's time to make a change? Yes, yeah, so you can hear it's just those s and sh sounds. Let's click render on that. But not outputting S only. There we go. So you can see there, it's only reduced the level of some of the words. Don't you think that it's time to make a change? Don't you think that it's time to make a change? 
yeah, so really effective de there. If you don't want it to, to sound quite so harsh, um, you can bring the threshold up so you're only affecting the, the louder ones that are over that threshold. And you can also change the cutoff frequency so we can go for around, uh, around 4K like we did with the other one. Don't you think that it's time to make a change? So we've still got those high frequencies in there. They're just not quite so harsh. So now we're going to take a look at how we can reduce sibilance in Audacity if you don't have access to any of the other tools. It doesn't come with its own DSA plugin. We're just going to use EQ for Audacity, but we can still improve the sound of our audio. Just prop. So this is pre any, um, any production. If you go into effect, let's just try it out on this section here. We're just going to use the EQ, just find the filter curve and again sibilance is typically starts at around four four and a half k um, depending on the vocalist probably a little bit higher for this this vocalist so just smooth it out a little bit and try that just rendering on that s there I can't just prop. So that's reduced the harshness of that by a significant amount, just like a de would. You can do this individually. Um, if, if you're mixing music, then you could probably go through and do this quite easily just on those really harsh S sounds so you're not affecting the rest of the vocal recording. If it was something like a podcast that's really long, you, you might have to just um, reduce the high frequencies and everything. You might just not want to go... Uh, for so much gain reduction. So whatever software you have access to, there's a way of reducing sibilance harshness in those vocal recordings. If you want to see the rest of the videos in this series of, of audio fixing tricks, you can check out the playlist in the description. And let me know in the comments section below if there are any other audio issues that you're really struggling that you'd love to, to get the same treatment as this video. Uh, I'll go through some fixes. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.